Ah, Taris. Did you know you've just landed on the biggest graveyard in the galaxy? There's not much to enjoy here, besides skeletons, ruins, and man-eating creatures. As long as there's a cantina, I'm happy. Are all your inoculations up to date? I doubt the watering holes here rate more than a one in Trampetta's Star Guide. Taris was the Coruscant of the Outer Rim, until some lunatic leveled it centuries ago. Now it's a toxic swamp. We're here for an astrogation chart that was in a vault when Taris fell. That vault's somewhere in these ruins. How do you know the vault still exists? It was built to withstand anything short of a supernova. Our lost vault was designed to be recovered after a major catastrophe. All we need are the right sensors to locate it. The catch is, the only person I know with access to those sensors is someone who hates me. I smell a good story. Let's just say she and I have a history, which I might tell you about when I know you better. I made our contact an irresistible offer. One of the deal's terms is that she doesn't have to see me. I need you to get that vault's location, Captain. Impress the stars out of her. People always tell me how impressive I am. That must be a terrible burden for you. I should also warn you. Skavik knows about the vault. We can't let him catch up. Relax. This is me we're talking about. And I have every confidence in you. Well, almost every. The astrogation chart in that vault is essential to finding Nocdrain's riches, Captain. Your contact name is Beryl Thorne. When Beryl gives you the vault's location, come back and see me. Oh, and try not to let anything eat you. I'm Agent Saganti with the Republic Customs Office. What brings you to my planet, Captain? Last time I checked, Terrace was Republic territory. When you have as many responsibilities as I do, you develop a sense of ownership about a planet. The Republic Customs Office monitors all starship traffic and ensures no illegal goods are transported on or off this planet. There's a lot of contraband making its way around Taurus. If you see anything suspicious, I suggest you report it immediately. I sincerely have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Honest. That's right. You have solid citizen written all over you. I take a special interest in every new arrival to my planet, Captain. Keep your nose clean and we won't have any trouble. Clear? I'll stay as clean as Alderaan Snow. We'll see about that. Enjoy your visit to Taurus. Argo, you're leaking oil again. You want to set this whole warehouse on fire? The Maker said it is better to burn out than rust away. Perhaps I'm testing that wisdom, mistress. I'm looking for Beryl Thorn. That's me? Argo's what passes for my second in command. I recognize you from Risha's Holo. Let's get one thing straight. The only reason I agreed to help is because my contract supplying the Terrace Reclamation Project is at risk. Looked like easy credits. Turns out Terrace is anything but easy. There are lots of interesting ways to die. As long as you're breathing, you're still in business. Some business. I'm barely covering my own expenses. If I don't finish my contract, I don't get paid. Tired all my partner died on a supply run. Put me in a real bind. I'll find that vault, but I have to finish my contract to do it. You work for me, and I'll work for you. Deal? What's the upside for me? A real mercenary, huh? I stashed some credits for a rainy day. You'll get them when the job's done. I only have two deliveries left. Soon as you handle them both, we'll find your vault. The first job's for a Republic scientist named Vernon. He's got a research camp in Rackgold territory. Uh, you should take that comedy act on tour. I wish I was joking. I don't know how anyone lives with those man-eaters all around. I'll start working on your job while you handle mine. Isn't cooperation grand? Hello again, Captain. I didn't know you and Thorne were acquainted. Agent Saganti, what a lovely surprise. It's only been a day since your last inquis- I mean, inspection. Don't you Republic Customs boys have better things to do than turn my warehouse upside down again? I can inspect this warehouse whenever I want. It's the law. Take Dr. Vernon's delivery, Captain. There's no reason for you to stick around. Why is Republic Customs so interested in you? Just between you and me, Saganti's a very lonely man. Poke around the warehouse all you want, Agent. You won't find anything out of order. <sighs> What did I just step in, Thorn? My apologies, sir. I believe that is my hydraulic fluid. 
Dear Adeli, I regret that your husband was killed yesterday by rat ghouls. Please accept my condolences. Dr. Soylan was an excellent scientist. I've never composed a death notice before. How did that sound? The Dira Dolly part was pretty good. I thought a personal touch was warranted, under the circumstances. Ah, I recognize the symbols on that container. My bio-alarms have finally arrived. Good, good. If only this had arrived in time to save my associates. Not your fault, certainly. We knew the risk of studying Rakul's. What do you think you're going to learn about these things? My colleagues and I were studying the Rakul's behavior, hoping to find a means of containing them. We can't afford to let the Rakul's impede our progress. The Republic's rebuilding efforts on Terrace are paramount to future prosperity. You're pretty fearless for a scientist. Fear obstructs understanding. Besides, my prospects for survival have just improved. I've isolated an identifying element in the Rakul's physiology, making it possible to detect and track their movements. The bio-alarms you brought will reveal how the creatures hunt. However, installing them will be a challenge with all my assistants dead. Consider them installed, Doc. How hard can it be? Indeed. All that's required are quick feet, basic technical know-how, and raw nerve. Things I see you possess in abundance. Place a bio-alarm at each survey station we've established, and I'll see you're amply rewarded. Amply rewarded is my middle name. Your parents must have been fascinating people. Come back when you're done, and we'll celebrate your success. Normally, I'd ask for your next of kin's hollow frequency, but I'd rather maintain some optimism. Good luck. Splendid work. I'm already receiving data transmissions from the bio-alarms. You've done the Republic's rebuilding effort a tremendous favor. I'm glad I was around to help out. You've done far more than help out, my friend. What you've done most definitely calls for generous compensation. Good show. It seems dangerous to stay out here all alone. I'm 100% safer now with the bio alarms in place. I'll be fine. Accept these credits with my extreme gratitude. I'll begin collating my data. Thank you again for everything. Hey, Captain. How are things out there? Beautiful scenery, great weather, man-eating creatures trying to kill me. <laughs> you should be here. That's the problem with running your own business. You always miss the good times. I finally located the other supplies you need to deliver. They were lost when Tyrodal got killed by the Rakuls. A Republic patrol found the supplies with Tyrodal's remains, dropped everything off at an outpost near the lake. I guess the Rakuls didn't leave much of him behind. Just bloody clothes. The Rakuls turned Tyrodal into one of them. I try not to think about it. All you have to do is swing by the outpost, grab the supplies, and take them to an engineer named Ovold. Ovold will give you some planetary core samples to bring back to me. Got it? Well, that should be easy enough. Yeah, that's what Tyrodal said. Grab the supplies from the outpost, get them to Ovold, and return to me with his core samples. Good luck. Bimkanaya Nugan, Ejinim Naya Lak Umnan Mege, Nule Lak Apa Jam Kamgram, Amkanem Nang Nemua Inuk. I know a scam when I hear one. Bragam Nemya Inubuyen, Akamaka Amkananya, Bomogala Apayan, Nilama Imi Amka Anga, Kala Jiwa Nimok. That sounds like just what I need. Nibaga glamka, gakyam, glagnimu amya galak. Naya narankam, kala ama mani mami, libik bak. Sure seems that way. Memgam gamgi, nina gegwan, am nerna hanak. Kamperem ganyam baji yang. Mani kikum bukam. I handled everything just like you wanted. Nakag agib kik benabab. Neya agam berakaki. Mem amgab kugab kramanik. Umka kiga mayamak. 
بإمكاننايا نوغان أجيني منايا لاك أمنان ميجي كوشوسا يو ماتا جيتويا أسوبي موتا أويبا أتوغا واتا كيكو أوبا كيلي واتا بوكي دونكو What kind of beast is out there? Chonki Faguta, Jiho Poda Ji Oto Vokise. Buka Kampak Nijit, Tonka Yiliska Chanaga, Kabanotase Makipuna, Malituta Udmishka. Who are these scavengers? Kupa Tonti Toki Maki Chisa Chubolo Wawuni. Poya Toka Changa Gobtula do Batawana Wanki. Chaskruni do pat kuri ra do kanki kung. Scavengers must have a camp. You know where it is? Piti do tenya go kaka jojo. Da biska ku paliya. Pampawula ji ota kakoga huta nupisto. I'll burn their little clubhouse to the ground. Che chopa kuma ni umpi put malia bedwana ni bobo. Taus Azulas Uval Tung Michakulka di Maji Kabano Tase Makipuna Mali Tuta Udmishka. Why'd you have to go and kill everybody? Some of those guys were all right. I'm here for the planetary core samples. Hand them over. Planetary core samples, right. You work for Beryl Thorne, don't you? That's what I used to do. The name's Tyradol. I was helping Beryl smuggle artifacts off Terrace disguised as core samples. I thought we'd get rich. Turns out Beryl's a soft touch. Instead of selling what we smuggle on the Imperial market, Beryl gives relics to descendants of Terrace survivors for a tiny finder's fee. Ridiculous. Smuggling relics off Terrace is against the law. Exactly. It's dangerous work, and we should be earning a killing. I let Beryl think rat ghouls killed me, and went into business with the scavengers. They had a bright idea to increase profits. Why sell a relic to the Imperials once we can sell it a dozen times? These droids are making copies of the relics. It takes guts to fleece the Empire. And that's just the beginning. I'm working out deals with wealthy collectors all over the galaxy. Let's be smart about this. I'll give you a hefty payout and a cargo pot of counterfeit relics if you keep my operation quiet. You go home richer, Beryl gets some relics to give away, and I stay in business. What do you say? I think she deserves better than to be cheated by you. Oh well, I guess we finish this the hard way. Droids! Code Black! Chikospa ini gudad ijigliska chanagawa. Wo grani tampio da pushi wompa. Putula musta. I know all about the smuggling operation, pal. Gekdusta barawanga. Ne subulkobo pomo? Those relics didn't get in there by themselves, Ovald. Mokili mo klunki. Nik mi chawa welmo. Kuto yi kumpa. Jiji no lia makichisa. Doi ka broda pachi isa jonki. Huh. You're a pretty good liar. I think it's the goggles. Umpa hupa. Jikilia umpasa do biska. Ha wanchi kospa tota ulia. I can count the number of times I've been truly impressed in my life on one hand, Captain. Congratulations. You walking in with those core samples just got added to the list. If I'm gonna be smuggling relics, I expect to be well paid. Smuggling relics? <laughs> I'd never do anything like... <laughs> Alright, well, even I don't believe that one. How'd you find out what I'm really up to? What happened with the scavengers? Turns out, Tyrodol faked his death by rag ghouls and joined the scavengers. He told me everything. I never liked that guy. Where's he now? He's fertilizing this beautiful swamp. Stupid Deveronian. He probably drew first. Sorry I didn't keep things on the up and up, but you're working with Risha. I've got trust issues there. I don't want these relics decorating some fat senator's bedroom. They're going to the descendants of Terra survivors where they belong. You've got a real heart of gold, don't you? There's more to life than profit. If people understood that, the galaxy would be a better place. Hey, look at that. The Republic just updated my contract log as complete. 
And right on time, my spaceport friend granted me access to the Republic sensor array. Let's find us a vault. Tell me about this mysterious friend of yours. A lonely technician with a boring job. Didn't take much to wrap him around my finger. Mm, sensors are picking up the vault's unique radiation signature. That's good. Aha, there it is. Oh. Your vault is in Zone Zero. That's bad. Give me all the details. Zone Zero is in no man's land. When the Republic first got here, it sent a bunch of surveyors to map the region. One surveyor made it back alive. Said the place is overrun with things worse than Rakul's. Nobody goes there. If that's where the vault is, that's where I'm going. You'll need serious hardware to crack that vault. Risha's good at getting into places she isn't supposed to. Maybe talk to her. Here's your fee for helping me complete my contract. We're even now. Good luck, Captain. Hope you got that vault's location. I eavesdropped on Skavik and some mercenaries over an encrypted comm channel. They're trying to beat us to the vault. Sounds like they're closing in. Tell me where to find Skavik so I can fry him. Don't get your hopes up. He's not on Terrace. Just his mercenaries. From what I overheard, Skavik's men aren't having much luck in their search for the vault. Something out there is eating those mercenaries alive. Literally. For once, I'm glad Terrace is a death trap. The creatures are slowing the mercenaries down, but not enough. Get to the vault as fast as you can, then open the lock with this Geonosian slicer module. It took me months to trade for this. Don't lose it, understand? If I march all the way to Zone Zero and I'm still locked out of that vault, you're fired. Technology has come a long way since that vault was built. It'll open. Good luck, partner. Hope I see you again soon. I'll let you know what I dig up. I'll be waiting, Captain. Remember me? Agent Saganti with the Republic Customs Office. I have some questions about Beryl Thorne. What do you want to know, Agent? I suspect Thorne is smuggling relics, and I think I know how she's doing it. What I lack is proof. I need someone to step forward and testify so I can arrest her. I'm looking for an honest citizen, Captain. Beryl's a good person. She's not doing anything wrong. If I catch you covering for her, well, let's not consider the ugly implications. I'm authorized to pay a generous sum for any lead resulting in an arrest. Think about what's best for you. Are you absolutely sure you don't know anything about Beryl Thorne's criminal activities? Tyrodal is the real smuggler, Agent Saganti. Thorne's partner? What do you have to back up that accusation? The crazy Deveronian attacked me at the scavenger base. It was his last mistake. You admit to being with scavengers and killing a man? What makes you think I won't arrest you? Tyrodal wasn't the only scavenger I killed. I did you all sorts of favors, Agent. If Tyrodal was smuggling relics with those scum, they deserve what they got. Sounds like I might be wrong about Thorn. Unfortunately, I may never be able to verify your story. I'm afraid that means no reward. Just leave poor Beryl alone. She's innocent. Nobody's innocent. If I've learned anything in this job, it's that. You've been very helpful, Captain. Goodbye. Barrel needs to clear out of here. That agent won't give up. I don't want Barrel getting caught. Me neither. She's one of the good guys. We should drop by her place on our way to Zone Zero. It's the least we can do. Didn't expect to see you again. What's the occasion, Captain? Republic Customs is on to you. I've kept them off your back. For now. You have the vault's coordinates. You didn't have to come warn me, but you did. Where I come from, the best friends are the ones who lie for you. Guess you're a better friend than I thought. Glad you finally see I'm not your enemy. Me too. And I won't forget it. I want you to have this. Saved me more times than I can count. I hope it does the same for you. I'm glad we're parting as friends. Risha doesn't deserve a partner like you. Watch your back, alright? I'll get off Terrace while the getting's good. I know Argo's ready. You have no idea, Mistress Barrow. Thanks for everything, Captain. What the... Who the... How'd you... Not big on completing sentences, are you? You're just... I can't believe... You're not supposed to be here! 
We've been through ten kinds of pain getting to this vault. And not to watch you open it first. Skavik, you there? Do you want to see this, boss? We're at the vault, but we're not alone. <laughs> so perfect. I love it when everything comes together like this. How's life treating you, Captain? You enjoying my ship and all my stuff? What about that two-faced Risha? I'm having the time of my life. Ah, uh, too bad it's over now. Still owe you for that mess on Coruscant. You have any idea the grief I'm taking? I could kill everybody who cracks a joke, but uh, that's a lot of work. So why don't you just die already? I'm ready to settle this when you are. Glad to hear you're on board with the plan. Roxer, I want you and the boys to spare no effort killing my friend, and make it as painful as possible. You heard the boss. Fry this fool! You got the astrogation chart, didn't you? I can tell by the look on your face. Did you ever doubt me? If I did, you've just made me a believer for life. That astrogation chart belonged to an exchange gangster named Davik Kang. Davik personally mapped dozens of hyperlanes between the core and outer rim systems. He found shortcuts and hideouts all over the galaxy. How do you find out about this chart? The same way I find out about everything. Listening to the right people. Have you studied much galactic history, Captain? Interesting patterns emerge if you pay attention. Davit Kang's criminal empire ended when this planet was destroyed. Nock Drayan's empire was born when he destroyed a planet. What a bloodthirsty creep. That's one way to look at it, assuming you're ignorant of the actual facts. Once upon a time, there was a pirate haven on the Outer Rim called Mandelia. Thousands of criminals lived there. One bright morning, Nock Drayan's freighter dropped out of hyperspace over Mandelia. He demanded the pirates surrender to him or die. Pirates aren't known for surrendering. They weren't afraid of a lone, lightly armed freighter. They thought Nock was crazy. When the pirates sent their reply, Nock launched a single rocket at their settlement. The warhead was tipped with an Imperial nerve toxin. The entire settlement died in less than a minute. How many people did Nock murder? Ten thousand greedy pirates, give or take. That day at Mandelia, Nock Drain went from being a low-rent smuggler to one of the richest criminals in the galaxy. Anyway, that's how the legend goes. I should probably let you get back to work. For such a foul-smelling planet, I sure had fun. Congratulations on a job well done. I definitely signed on with the right spacer. At any rate, I'm ready to leave Taris. I'm sure we can find someplace more interesting to be. Got a bad case of wanderlust, Risha. Hey, it's one of my best qualities. <laughs> <laughs>